Empire was born in Katangiri, which is in the Urbi district. So he was born in 1911 and he grew up here. So his education, school, all of that happened in Katangiri. He studied uh, formal art at JJ uh, School of Art in Bombay and he graduated in 1938. And then he studied at Academy Julia in Paris. He, when he came back, he also taught at the JJ School of Art in Bombay for many years, and he was kind of sought after as a arts mentor in many institutions. It was the singing lines that sort of put a different, the entire thing in a different sort of a perspective. The strength of lines that possibly K K Bar can draw is unimaginably great. There are no other artists that I know of who could sort of say everything in one or two lines. Shyam Karanth, when he published his famous book Yakshagana Bhayalata in Kannada, most of the work there, all the sketching for the book was done by K K Bar. One of the things that I have to say about K K Bar's art is his deep, deep rootedness in Udupi and his rural surroundings. His love for the state and the country and his birthplace continued forever. If you could see, he was more impressed by the Nagamandala, the sort of the kind of music and the kind of songs that go with that, and the kind of laya that is there in the dance, which is the indirect imitation of the Naga, the Sarpa kind of a thing, to take it all into one figure. is the real artistry and i think the nagamandala where the dakka person who goes with damaru and naga uh, the patri is standing in front and thought of recreating the entire thing in his mood is one of the most beautiful expressive pictures that i have seen again in simple lines avare avare chenadu painting nange theeda prakara drawing or pen nalli matte hechira painting nu nau knife work matte जास्ती स्टडी <laughs> that is dedicated entirely to hebbar's works we have the world's largest collection of his portraits so this permanent collection at the gallery is hebbar's portraits now what we're trying to do with this space is that honor the permanent collection and host tours for not just the students of the university but also the public at large so it's open to everyone but we are also thinking of how to make this a multidisciplinary space because he hebbar stood for kind of multidisciplinary engagement with the arts so the gallery also becomes a performance space uh, we have monthly open mics where students come and share their poetry narrative fiction dramatized readings we want to facilitate this kind of dialogue and exchange and i think this space has the potential to do that